Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am very, very excited for this YouTube video. This is my first ever Authentic Neverfull, and I am just so excited. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video of my first impressions, what I liked, what I didn't like about this bag, how it compares to a replica and whatnot. Um, I will do a more in-depth video um, for y'all, um, because I know when I was purchasing replicas, I had never really seen many authentic Neverfulls, and to me, a, a Neverfull is my favorite bag that Louis Vuitton makes. I have several different styles. I have a Speedy. I have a, I think it's called a Clapton, I think's the name of it. I have a, a ugh, Pochette Matisse, um, and so I've had several different kind, but a Speedy is definitely I mean, I'm sorry, a Neverfull is definitely my favorite so far. Um, and a plus, I have two small kids, so it's just more practical for me. Um, so anyway, so let's just cut into it. Um, my first impression of this bag was, I'm just going to be honest, wow, it's not that much nicer than my replicas. That was my first impression of the bag. Um, now, since I've had it a week or two, um, I can definitely say that the more I have it, the more I love it, and I will explain why. When I first got it, I was eyeballing it like an eagle. I was looking at every stitch, the alignment of the bag, um, the way the fascetta was um, stitched around the top of the bag, the way um, the chaps were sewed on, um, the cinch straps, uh, the canvas color. I mean, I, literally, I gave this bag a workover. Um, and I have had several monogrammed Neverfulls that are replicas. Um, and I've ended up selling um, every one of them because I really could not find one that um, I thought, from what I thought I knew about an authentic, because I had, like I said, I never really had had one, so I wasn't 100% sure, but what I had looked online and watched videos and researched and da 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 da, I couldn't find one that was close enough to it for me to feel comfortable toting it. Now, I do have a Azure Neverfull from O Cobbler, um, and I have done a video in the past, um, and I will be glad um, to do a video of this one compared to the O Cobbler. It, like I said, it is an Azure print, but I will be doing a video on the comparison as far as the Vachetta um, and the half of the bag, the interior, the hardware, just different things like that to kind of give you an idea. Um, Anyway, so let me just hop on into the video. I wanted to show you the canvas next to my, um, this is a replica, and this is a 26 Toiletry, I think is the name of this. Um, I will be doing a video on this um, separate, but I wanted to show you the canvas comparison. Um, I In person, they look more dif different than they do on my phone. This one definitely has more green undertones versus this one. This one's canvas obviously is brighter. Um, it has more of a shiny sheen to it, um, but the sound is about the same. This one might be a little quieter. Maybe, I don't know. But um, they're about the same. The feel of the canvas, this one's smoother, the way it feels, it's a little smoother. Um, but for the most part, I have quite a few monogram things that are, um, replica, and I have compared them to, um, this monogram, and I will do some videos in the future of that showing you, um, some more comparisons, but for the sake of this video, I just wanted to give a quick review of this bag. Okay, so let's start. Um, as you can see, it has not started to patina. It is a new bag, and I can't wait for it to start to patina. Personally, I don't like um, white Vachetta. I like it to patina. Um, another thing I did notice is that the um, Vachetta along the um, bottom seems to pucker up more than my um, replicas. I don't know if I don't know what the reason is for that, but I, you know, I have noticed that they pucker, as you can see, a little bit more. Um, the first thing, though, I did notice was the handle length. The handle length is shorter on the Authentic than any of my replicas. Um, and then I noticed that the um, 
the fascetta is definitely um, not so stiff. It's definitely thinner, uh, has not hurt my shoulders. Now, if this was a replica new bag, um, and a lot of y'all know, y'all have purchased replicas, they are very stiff when you get them. It takes, to me, it takes a few months for them to soften up and become more comfortable. Um, that's not the case with this bag. This bag is extremely comfortable now. Uh, this is the glazing. Um, see if I can get, get a good video of it. It definitely looks a little bit more red, um, on my phone than it does in person. Um, but the glazing is very pretty on this bag. Uh, I have, like I said, I've had replicas with the monogram and I've had several Azure replicas. The only rep replica that I ended up keeping was an Azure one that I got from O'Cobbler and I have done videos on it in the past. But um, it was the only one I ended up keeping because the glazing wasn't so red. It was definitely a more maroon color. Now this is definitely, they call this ox blood is the color. Um, like I said, I will do a comparison to show you what my um, replica from um, O'Cobbler looks like. But the glazing, let's see if I can get closer. The glazing, let's see if I can get it to focus. The glazing is definitely sm so smooth on these on these bags. I mean, it's just so smooth. It feels great. Um, and then the color on the inside is just beautiful. Like I said, I had one from Joy in this color, um, and the color wasn't as bright. Um, let's see if I can get a good view of the heat stamp. Oh, sorry. It's so hard to do this with one hand. There's the good view of the heat stamp. Um, and then this is the glazing on the inside of the bag. See, it's it's really pretty. It's subtle. It's not so bright red. Um, let me show you the sides of this bag. Um, you know, a lot of people are really stickler about alignment, um, but this is a authentic. It does not align perfectly. So if y'all are out there toting a replica and you're like, oh, the sides don't align. I'm so neither does authentics. This is an authentic. I have the paperwork to prove that it's authentic, but. Um, this side lines up pretty good. It's just the other side, and I will show you what I'm talking about. One thing I did notice is that the, the scent straps are definitely nicer on the authentic. Um, as far as thickness goes, glazing, the hardware is definitely heavier. Um, this is the, let me show you. This is the, if I can get my phone to focus, the width of the um, scent straps. Um, and the stitching on the back is, is definitely nicer than any of the replicas that I've had. Um, here's these. Let me show you these. They're definitely more pointier than a lot of my replicas. Just want to give you a good view. Um, let me move this little stool. Okay, so... Let me show you this side. This is the side I'm talking about that doesn't line up. And I will show you, like right there. See? As you can see. Yeah. So, even authentics aren't perfect. See? Right there, it does not align in that little section right, right through here. So, but, um, doesn't bother me really. Like I said, I know this is authentic. Not everything's perfect, so. But, as you can see, oh, also ignore the ugly carpet. I moved in here about two years ago, and it was definitely a fixer-upper, and I've not got to the carpet yet because I have a little baby that's just started walking, and I didn't want to replace the floor until he was through. So, that's on a little side note there, but I will soon because he has just started walking and walking good. Um, let me show you the stitching and everything. The stitching is very pretty. Like I said, I will do a better video for you. Um, okay, so first impressions. Um, I, be honest with you, I, at first I was a little let down because obviously I paid over $1,000 for this bag. And I've paid, you know, 100 and something, 200 something for replicas that I have bought before. And in some ways, they're just as nice. And then in some ways, they're not. Obviously, this is a nicer bag. It, there was more thought put into this. In the making of this bag but i will show you this bag's not perfect where the um, vachetta meets on both sides as you can see i don't know if you can see it it's not it doesn't line up just perfect 
And then this side is what really doesn't line up. I don't know. Let's see if I can get it to... Yeah, you see that? It's got like a little something here, and then it doesn't line up. So, see, the, you know, even authentics aren't perfect. Um, and some authentics may be perfect, but this particular one was not. Um, so, whatever. But I wished I had... Um, let me get my wallet out of here and show you um, the comparison to my wallet. This is a replica. And this is, you can, I mean, really, honestly, the canvas looks so similar. It's just in person that you can tell the difference. But on the phone, you really can't tell a difference. Um, but anyway, let me get um, this as well. How this looks how the hardware looks. Let me get on the inside. I'm gonna pull this down and get the inside for you. Okay, so um, here's the little studs. They look pretty similar to the replicas, honestly. Um, let me turn the, take my phone off the charger. Let me turn it around. Um, you know, the glazing and then, um, this zipper definitely is more matte than a lot of my replicas. Um, I'll show you this. So, but like I said, I do know this, you know, this bag, like I said, it is authentic. It's not perfect. Um, and then the glazing though on this bag is just so pretty. It's so smooth. There's no bumps or lumps or weird glazing. Um, I think what I was most impressed with about this bag was the canvas, um, then the color of the glazing, and just the way the bag feels. The bag feels so nice. It's not stiff. Replicas, you always, if you buy them new, you have to go through, me, I've always had to go through two or three months until I felt comfortable toting the bag because I always felt it was so stiff and so the leather was so, the vachetta was so hard. And so I am glad that I purchased this bag. Um, I feel like this is something that I'll keep forever. Um, and I am happy that I went ahead and, do and done that. All right. Well, um, I hope that helps. Like I said, I will be doing a more in-depth video for you in the future. But I just wanted to pop on and just give my first impressions and whatnot. If you have any questions or anything, just feel free to let me know. All right. Thank you.